everyone welcome to class it's been so long thank you so much for flowing with me for all of my videos let's do something awesome for today if you are new here welcome let's go and find your props put them on the side so it's easier for you to grab whenever you feel like you need it for today so without further ado let's do something awesome find yourselves at the center of your mat tuck the feet and slowly land on your first active child's pose Allow the forehead to soften, ground down to the mat, relax your shoulders, feel your side bodies open. Allow the hips to feel heavy on your heels, open the toes. If it feels safe for today, close your eyes and allow the body to settle in, allow the mind to settle in. Mindful breaths to start, maybe create an intention for today's practice. Something that can guide you through. On your next breath, let's go find your cat. So slowly ripple forward, chin to chest, tuck the tailbone. Next breath brings you to your cow. Belly down, heart opens, press the hips back to the heels. Option to keep your eyes closed here. Notice how every single vertebrae will work for you. Now's the time to connect the movement with the breath. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to deepen. Press from your hands, find awareness in your knees, your toes. Let each and every movement be filled with intention. Allow yourself to align on the inside. Breathe in long, press your hips down, heart opens, find a your high cobra. Relax the shoulders, maybe gaze up high if the body invites. Bend the elbows, allow the belly, the chest, the hip to fall down to the mat. Roll the shoulders down and back, heart opens, press from your hands, come back, child's pose. Relax the shoulders. Notice how you breathe. Let this playful alignment come at you. Ripple forward to your cat. Press your hips down. Uh, this time around, find your upward facing dog. Hips up. Swing side to side with the hips if it feels good. Open the body. Next breath sends you to your first downward facing dog. Ad homokashvanasana. Any kind of movement that feels good today or find stillness in the body. Lower belly in. Relax the shoulders. Feel the lengthening of the spine. Inhale, heels up. Ripple forward towards your plank. Slowly shoulders stack on the wrists. Hips down, charged up dog. Once you're ready, bend the knees, come back, downward facing dog. Doing this for one more round. Deep breath, heels up, ripple forward intuitively to your plank. Once you're there, hips down, charge your up dog, lift your kneecaps, engage the core, inner thighs in. Bend the knees, come back, down dog. Left heel comes up, three-legged dog. Bend that knee, hip joint mandala. Right heel up, send that left leg to the left side, pointer flex. Step back down, downward facing dog. Do this on the opposite side, right heel up, three-legged dog. Bend that knee, open the hip. Left heel up, send that right leg pointing to the right side. Step down, down dog. Left heel up once more. Breathe in. Hip joint mandala, bend the left knee. Swing it to the left side. Right heel comes up. Flex that left foot. Step that left foot in between the hands. The right heel grounds down. Find your warrior two. Heart opens on the right side. 
Breathe in long, palms up, extend the front leg. Breathing out, come back, warrior two. One more, inhale, hands in prayer to your sky. Exhale, warrior two, bending deeper. Inhale, flow back, reverse the warrior. Exhale, commit to the shape. Look down, graze that left hand forward, right hand reaches to the top, Pajvakanasana, extended side angle. Inhale deep. Exhale completely. Release. Look down, reverse your warrior one more time. Gaze follows the left thumb. Release, come back. High lunge here, right heel comes up, heart, hip, belly looking forward. Breathe in long, ribs in. Extend the front leg, gently extend your hands forward, and then down, modified pyramid pose. Left leg swings up high, three-legged dog. Stay here, bend that left knee one more time. Let's go step back, wild thing. Heart up, hips up, inhale. And exhale. Breathe in, look down. Left foot gently comes back. Step that left foot in front, parallel to your right hand, skandasana in front. Hands down or hands in prayer. Breathe in long, lengthen the spine. Breathing out, skandasana, as low as your hips can go to the back of the mat. Breathe in. And breathe out. Release, come back forward, superman here, right heel comes up, energize to your fingertips. Ride with the breath as you come up, warrior three in front. Inhale, and exhale. Swing up high, right knee to the heart. Firm the MFIs in, stack that right ankle on top of your left knee. Finding this awesome chair pose. Parivrita Utkatasana. Inhale. Come back. Warrior three. Breathe in long. Exhale. Step back. Three like a dog. Take one vinyasa here. Your own play. We're all going to meet in your downward facing dog. Reset. Notice the breath. Notice the thoughts. Notice where you are. Come back to your intentions. Right heel up. Let's go. Bend that knee slowly. Hip joint mandala. Deeper this time. Left heel comes up. Swing that right leg to the right side. Flex the foot. Slowly step that right foot in between your hands. Warrior to open up on the left side this time. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Hands in prayer. Extend the front leg. Bending in, warrior two. One more time. Hands in prayer. Lengthen. Bending the knee deeper, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Inhale, lengthen the side body. Exhale, commit to the shape. Graze the hand. Find your Pajvakanasana here. Left hand reaches forward. Breathe in long. Breathing out. Release. Reverse your warrior one more time. Slowly flow to your high lunge. Left heel comes up. Heart, hip, belly looking forward. Extend the front leg. Descend with the breath. Find your pyramid pose. Right heel comes up, three-legged dog. Bend at knee, hip joint mandala. Transition to your wild thing. Step back. Heart up, hips up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale to release. Look down. With or without the hand, step that right foot forward. Skandasana in front, with or without the hands. Engage the core, open the hip. Relax the face, relax your shoulders. Flow back, Skandasana. 
Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Next breath, right it towards your superman. Energize your fingertips. Left heel comes up. Once you're ready, fly Virabhadrasana 3. Point or flex the left foot. Breathe in long. Breathing out. Left knee to the heart. Hands reach up to your sky. Parivrita Utkatasana. Stack that left ankle on top of your right quad. Right knee. Send your hands long heart pressing your left shin. Inhale. Exhale, release, warrior three once more. Notice the breath. Step back, come back three like a dog. Find one vinyasa one more time. Taking your reset, deep breaths in, open the mouth, let it all go. Come back to your center. Come back to your intentions. Left heel up. Inhale. Bend the left knee hip joint mandala. Left knee towards your left tricep, bicep, elbow. Come up high three-legged dog. Bending that left knee once more. This time ripple forward. Left knee towards your right tricep, elbow. Come up, three like a dog. Notice the breath. Bend the knee once more. Slowly, let's go forward. Eka pada kundinyasana tu. Step back. Extend that foot down. Wild thing. Heart opens. Flow freely from the heart. Look down. Once you're ready, bend that left knee once more to the sky. Option to extend it long. Step that left foot in front. Find your Prasarita Padottanasana. Toes pointing to the right long side of your mat. If you have your headstand practice, feel free to fly. Any kind of variation that supports your body, your mind today. Or maybe find stillness. Cultivate that mind opening up releasing back to where we came from prasarita inhale halfway lift slowly fold forward once more left heel up breathe in step down adhumakashvanasana reset allow the space to be for you right heel up inhale bend that knee hip joint mandala deeper opening left heel up right knee to the right tricep elbow or armpit come up high once more three like a dog flowing back hip joint mandala this time right knee to the left tricep left elbow come up high three like a dog Press from your hands, bend the knee. This time, swing forward. Ekapada kundinyasana two on this side. Step back, swing that foot to the back, wild thing. Flowing stronger this time around. Breathe in long. Breathing out. Look down, release, bend that right knee this time to the sky. Option to extend that foot, that leg. Stepping that right foot forward, parallel to your left hand. Prasarita padottanasana on your left side this time. Again, if you have your headstand practice, only if you do, feel free to find a variation that your body needs today. Release gracefully. Come back, Prasarita. Halfway lift and slowly fold forward, low lunge. Right heel swings up high, three like a dog. Step down, Adhomokashvanasana, reset. 
Soften the face, relax the shoulders. Notice how one side is perfectly in alignment with the other. If not, that is perfectly fine as well. Notice where your body is at in your journey today. Heels up, ripple forward to your plank, bend the knees, sit on your heels. Collect the hands at the center, close your eyes for a few moments and notice the feeling that the heart is slowly keeping up with the pace of the body. Allow the breath to guide you to your intentions. Let's go and rise. Take your kneeling position here. Hip with distance apart on the knee. Suck or untuck the feet. Hands at the back. Roll the shoulders down and back. Press your hips forward. Take your heart up high. Allow the shoulder blades to press onto each other. Allow the elbows to press onto each other. Gaze up high if the body invites. Breathe in. Breathe out, release. Take a seat once more. Close the eyes. Let's go for one more. Come back to your kneeling pose. Hands at the back. Roll the shoulders down and back and press your hips up. Option to plant the hands on your ankles, on your heels, if this feels good today. Again, option to gaze up or gaze to the back of the mat. Keep pressing your hips forward. Keep pressing your shoulder blades together, lifting your heart higher. Once you're ready, slowly come back to your seat. Stay here. Open the eyes. Let's go back to your tabletop. Left leg reaches at the back. Inhale. Bend the elbows, heart pressing to the mat. Press back. Bend the knee to the heart. Curve the back. And then slowly plant it down. Let's go to your pigeon pose on this side. The right leg extends at the back. Find your sweet spot in your pigeon. Know what feels good. Lower belly in, maybe extend your hands long to the back of your mat to allow this opening on the heart even more. Hands can reach up high if it's possible. Maybe find your yoga gun, take your arms behind the ears. Release, fold forward. Heart pressing to your left shin, option to stay here. Or if you have some more in you, we're going to swing your hands to the right side, feeling this opening on the left side body and, of course, on the hip. Release. Come back to your center. Come back to your seat. Option to stay here, or if you have some more in you, let's go find a variation of your pigeon. Maybe taking your mermaid or any kind of back bend that supports you in this shape. The job or the goal in each and every flow that we do is to create the pose or commit to the shape with all honesty on where we are in our journey rather than focusing on the outer alignment or knowing what looks good. Instead, let's move with intention. Let's move like no one is looking at us. In that way, we can be more authentic. In that way, we can see ourselves fully. 
release once you're through slowly come back to where we started Ex extend that right leg in front let's find Madha Shiyasana on this side wrap that left arm on your right leg right hand at the back option to stay here or if you want some more hook that left elbow on your outer right knee peel that right shoulder open gaze on your right shoulder or close your eyes breathe in long Exhale it all out. Soften the face. Release. Release the hook. Stack that right leg on top of your left. Maybe your knees can come parallel to each other. Allow all of your hips to ground down. Bend that right elbow. Left hand catches the right elbow. Or you can take a bind at the back. Circle that left hand. Option to fold down as well if it feels good. Only if it feels good. Find awareness in all of your hips opening here. Release once you're ready. Come back to your seat. Release the bind if you did it. Lean back. Let's go find your fire log pose. Stack each shin onto each other, right leg on top first. If you want some more, you can lean forward to fully grasp this opening on your outer glutes. Release on the next breath. Lean back, untangle the legs one by one. Windshield wipers left and right. Allow the hips to neutralize. Or maybe find this massage. Let's go back to your tabletop once you're done. Let's do everything on the opposite side. Right leg up high, inhale, bend the elbows, plant the heart. Breathe in long. Breathing out. Inhale, press from your hands, right knee to the heart, curve the back. And then slowly, once you're ready, you're going to plant it down. Find pigeon pose on this side. Knowing that one side is different from the other. And one practice is different from the other. On some points, you can do this without any help, without any feeling at all that it's painful or whatever. And sometimes, you just need to honor your body where it is. Find your variation here. Release forward ground down heart to the right chin this time stay or go further swing your arms your hands to the left this time keeping that press on your left hip down to your mat Come back, center, and release once more. Again, option to stay here or find a variation that you need on this side. As one side is different from the other, you can opt to do both poses on each side and see how it feels. Or explore different ones if you feel like one side is more open. Give yourself permission to be free. Once you're ready, release. Come back to your center. 
extend that left leg long let's go find maria shiasana on this side right arm wraps on your left leg heart opens to the left maybe hook that elbow on your outer left knee if you want to go deeper again an option not a progression Notice how your breath is right now. Release. Let's go find Gumbomukasana here. Left leg stacks on top of your right. Maybe knees can come parallel to each other, maybe not. Gumbomukasana hands this time. Bend the left elbow. Reach with the right hand or take a bind at the back and between the shoulder blades. Inhale here. Option to fall down if you have some more. Keeping the press in all of your hips, all of your bum. Lengthen the spine. Release once you're through. Release your hands. Let's go find fire log on this side. Stack the shin. Onto the other. Left leg on top. Again, option to fold forward if you need more opening here like me. Maybe extend your hands long to the top of your mat and allow the upper body to feel heavy here. Release, come back center, untangle the feet one by one, swing side to side, windshield wipers left and right. Once you're through, let's go find Pashamotanasana seated, forward fold, hands reach up high. And slowly fall down. Take a bind that you need for today. Know what feels good for the body. Doesn't have to look like what I'm doing. It can be like this. And if not, it's okay. Option to take a micro bend on the knees if you feel like this is too much. Lift the kneecaps, engaging the quads. Release once you're ready. Slowly fold down, lower back, middle back, upper back, head all the way down to the mat. Bend the knees one by one. Take your hands, clasp them at the back of the head, making sure all of your shoulder blades are pressed onto the mat. Bend the knees to the heart and slowly swing side to side. Bawan Muktasana again keeping your shoulder blades glued to the mat as you swing notice where this feels a little bit of a core work a little bit of an opening release the hands let's go find reclining side twist right knee first then to the heart and then slowly swing it to the left side gazing at your right thumb again shoulder blades glued to the mat close the eyes if you want Allow the breath to soften at this point. Release. Come back to your center. Let's switch sides. Left knee descend to the heart. Squeeze it in and then slowly drop it to the right. Gaze up or find your thumb, your left one. Or close your eyes. Come back. 
come back center. Slowly extend both of your feet to the top of your mat. Extend your hands long. Give yourself the final stretch. And then slowly release. Take your feet widest. Take your hands wide as well. Palms facing up. Allow yourself to ground down here. Give yourself permission to stay longer in this shape if you want to. Thank you so much for flowing with me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank yourself for creating space and making time. Namaste everyone.